G'day folks and welcome to this week's episode of Body Trim TV. Part two of our three week super series, all things about weight loss. Now today, I wanna to talk to you about a topic that I'm calling, why the scales lie. Now, I don't know about you, but most people I meet have a tendency to get fairly preoccupied with what that dial is saying on the good old scales. Now here at Body Trim headquarters, as you'd be well aware, we recommend once a week for a weigh-in. Definitely no more. Now if I can give you any tips, <laughs> this is definitely one of them. Keep it to once a week. The scales can definitely start to affect what's going on up here. There's a, there's a plethora of reasons why the scales are not ideal when it comes to assessing your progress. One of them comes down to fluid retention. Now the body's made up of about 60% water. Now as some of you would remember from the body trim system itself, for a gram of carbohydrate, you hold over three grams of water. So when it comes to total body weight, there is often fairly significant fluctuations relative to the level of fluid retention that you're holding on to at that point in time. Now remember, total body weight is the, is the sum total of lean mass or muscle mass and fat free mass. I've used myself as an example before and I'll use it again. On the body mass index, the BMI, I'm categorically obese. Now, that, I'm about 88 kilos, <laughs> about a kilo heavier than Chris. We're always competing and I, he knows I'm heavier than him because we train a bit together. But look, yeah, that puts me in the obese category, but clearly I'm not obese from a body fat percentage point of view. Important people understand that really the goal is body fat percentage. Body weight's good as a mass overall goal when you're starting the BT system, but be cognizant of the fact there's more to the puzzle than just that. A lot of it comes down to fluid retention and also, of course, lean mass versus fat-free mass. Another thing that's gonna make you hold fluid is, is salt. Salt makes you hold fluid. So what do we try and do? We wanna eat unprocessed foods. Natural, unprocessed foods, always best. Another thing that can impact a person's uh, body weight and fluid retention is, of course, for women, the time of the month. Again, fluid retention impacts on total body weight. So the whole premise behind today is not getting totally preoccupied in any way, shape or form on body weight. Yes, it's a guide, but it's not the Bible overall. If you wanna weigh yourself, you do it once a week, as I say, and ideally, body composition, Tanita scales, shoes and socks off, mild electrical current, that's gonna give you a body fat percentage, but once again, not totally accurate. That comes down to hydration as well. These are all guides and benchmarks, my friends. And also something you might notice as well with those scales. You have your free day, you jump on the scales the next day, and you've put on a kilo and a half. It's all fluid, you've carved up on that free day, every gram of carb, more than three grams of water, so it's pretty easy. You know, you have an extra, you know, 100 grams, 200, 300 grams of carbs. You can see how pretty easily you put on a kilo, a kilo and a half. You do your protein only day, a couple of days later, you're back to where you were and beyond. So that's what happens when it comes to body weight and why the scales lie. They lie because of lean muscle versus fat mass, and they also lie because of our hydration levels. So I hope that's a bit of a heads up for you on why the scales lie. Use them. But next week, I'm gonna come back to you and tell you the really the best ways to analyze your body composition and where you're at with your goals and the things that I do above and beyond the scales. See you soon, have a fantastic weekend. Gee, it's cold in Sydney. Fingers crossed it warms up. Bye for now.